For Jackie Carr, this journey to Queens Park is familiar and frustrating. I do want people to get it. It is workplace harassment and the damage it does. And Carr knows the devastating effects firsthand. Her mother, Teresa Vince, was repeatedly harassed by her boss. And then in 1996, he shot her dead and killed himself. That kind of extreme violence may be rare, but Carr and her co-authors in a new report say workplace harassment is anything but. We are aware of hundreds, probably thousands, of cases of women going through situations exactly like the ones that are described here. Their research looked at the experiences of 67 working women in Ontario. Their conclusions that thousands of women of all backgrounds, ages and races are facing all kinds of harassment. It's not just sexual, it's not just racial, it's not just in the neat little boxes that the legal system forces women to put themselves into when they go to complain. The report says it is particularly difficult for women who don't speak English fluently. All across the province, people are at work actually not knowing what to do if this happens to them. And when you don't speak English, you can't go around asking questions. The researchers place a large part of the blame on the Ontario Human Rights Commission, saying it isn't always accessible. Still, the Ontario Human Rights Commission says its complaints process is serving women well, but officials say they are open to considering the report's recommendations. The researchers say the openness is cause for optimism, and they plan to push for many changes, including a new independent 1-800 number and funding for centres dedicated to harassment victims. The province says small changes, such as multilingual pamphlets in the workplace, are doable, but officials aren't promising when that could happen. Some significant change could come soon, though, on one of the report's key recommendations.